Greetings everyone Bannu Patra brings to you the news highlights of 3rd November 2022 Starting with the Supreme Court The Supreme Court has held that rape victim statement made under section 164 CRPC should not be disclosed to any person including the accused till charge sheet is filed and suggested high court to make amendments to criminal practice trial rules to incorporate provisions consistent with such directions The court has asked the center to sensitively consider the issue of inclusion of disabled people to the Indian Police Service Indian Railways Protection Force Service and Delhi Damar and Diu Dadra and Nagar Haveli Andaman and Nicobar Islands and Lakshadweep Police Service The court while observing that non reporting of sexual assault against a minor child despite knowledge is a serious crime has held that more often than not it is an attempt to shield the offenders of the crime of sexual assault The court has directed the center and the state governments to consider a plea to publish all legislations in regional languages to ensure better access for the people whose conduct and day-to-day lives would be governed by these legislations. The court has dismissed a petition which sought to change the name of Bombay High Court as Maharashtra High Court stating that it is a matter to be decided by the parliament. The court while dismissing the review petition filed by Lakshare Taiba militant Muhammad Arif has affirmed death penalty awarded to him for the 2000 Red Fort attack case which resulted in the death of 3 persons including 2 army officers. The court while hearing a petition filed by advocate Matthews J Nedumpara seeking a uniform platform for live streaming has stated that it is trying to set up a national platform for live streaming which can be used by the high courts as well news from the high courts starting with the delhi high court the delhi high court while highlighting issues faced by various home buyers has stated that it is an unfortunate trend that builders often resort to dilatory tactics defraud home buyers by selling units to multiple individuals delay execution and execute projects without requisite sanctions The High Court has directed the Delhi police to locate an Indian man and his 3-year-old Ukrainian son after hearing habeas corpus plea moved by the child's mother claiming that he was kidnapped and brought to India by her former husband taking advantage of ongoing war between Ukraine and Russia. News from high courts in other parts of the country. The Allahabad High Court has held that marriage of an individual is no ground to deny him or her compassionate appointment as entering into marital relationship does not raise presumption that person is financially stable. The Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh High Court has held that if correct address of accused is mentioned in complaint and in demand notice under section 138 of Negotiable Instruments Act then mere variation of address in postal receipt will not lead to a presumption that notice was sent on wrong address the manipur high court while issuing directions to